1959, there was a happy occasion at Golestan Palace, Iran, when the Shah of Iran, also known as Mohammad Reza Shah, married the 21-year-old Farah Deba. Their wedding included a traditional Islamic nikah ceremony, followed by a banquet. This was the Shah's third wedding, and the match was orchestrated by his 19-year-old daughter, Princess Shahnaz. The young empress was studying architecture in Paris in 1959, when she was introduced to Mohammad Reza Shah Pahlavi of Iran at an embassy reception before the couple's engagement was announced on 1st December, and they were married three weeks later. Farah became the object of much curiosity at her wedding, receiving worldwide press attention. The young princess wore a stunning YSL gown with the Nuru Lane diamond tiara, one of the most exquisite pink diamonds in the 60 carats Nuru Lane. Many believe it was once part of a larger diamond, 400 carat diamond called the Great Table Diamond, which was split into two gems we now know as the Zeriai Nur and Nuru Lane diamonds. Nuru Lane was first part of the Nizam Abdul Hassan Qutb Shah's collection and it was given as a peace offering to the Mughal Emperor Aurangzeb. Nuru Lane was brought into the Iranian imperial collection after the Persian king Nadir Shah of Shah looted Delhi in the 18th century. The diamond changed hands several times as assassinations and military coups caused shifts in power. When Shah Muhammad Reza Pahlavi rose to power, he had Harry Winston craft the Nuru Lane diamond into the beautiful diamond tiara offered to his wife Empress Farah on their wedding day. The tiara features 324 pink, yellow and white diamonds set in platinum. It is said to weigh around 2 kilos. The tiara forms part of the Iranian crown jewels held at National Treasury of Iran in the Central Bank in Tehran. Back to the wedding. After the celebrations associated with the imperial wedding, the success of the union became contingent upon the empress's ability to produce a male heir. Although he had been married twice before, the Shah's previous marriages had given him only a daughter, who under agnetic primogeniture could not inherit the throne. The pressure for the young empress was acute. The Shah himself was deeply anxious to have a male heir, as were the members of his government. Thankfully, the couple had four children, Crown Prince Reza in 1960, Princess Faranaz in 1963, Prince Ali Reza in 1966 and Princess Leila in 1970. Like many other royal consorts, the Empress initially limited herself to a ceremonial role. In 1961, during a visit to France, Farah befriended the French culture minister André Malrox, leading her to arrange the exchange of cultural artefacts between French and Iranian art galleries and museums a lively trade that continued until the couple were forced to flee the country during the Iranian Revolution in 1979. Shah Reza Pahlavi passed away in 1980, and Empress Farah lives in exile between Washington DC and Paris. And there you have it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it to be informative as well. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching.